The animation begins with a scene at a coal mine, where some goats are working. Suddenly, a dangerous animal called Tai Lung shows up. He used to rule there and now wants to take control again. He warns everyone that no one can stop him, not even the powerful dragon master Po. Meanwhile, Po is finding a stingray that's causing trouble nearby. At that time, Po easily wins the fight, and the people are thankful for his help. Later, Po rushed us to the grand opening of his dad's noodle shop. People there admire him for being the dragon warrior. Master Sifu is also there and wants to talk to Po about something important. But Po says they'll talk later after the party. Po tells everyone about a powerful staff given to him by Master Ugwe. This staff can even open a gate to the spiritual world. Finally, Po and his dad open their new noodle shop. They explain that the other five warriors weren't there because they were busy protecting other areas. So, Po and Master Sifu finally talked. Their Po was surprised when Master Sifu said someone else had to be the dragon warrior now. Master Sifu said Po could be a spiritual leader to keep peace. But Po didn't like that. He still wanted to be the dragon warrior. Then, it was time for Po to pick the next dragon warrior. He had to choose from five Kung Fu masters. But instead, he chose himself because he believed he was still worthy. Shortly after, Po told Master Sifu he wasn't ready to be a spiritual leader like Master Ugwe. Master Sifu said Po would find the answer someday. So, Po meditated to find the answer. But he ended up more confused about what to do next. One day, Po saw an animal sneaking into the museum. It turned out to be a fox trying to steal old treasures. At that moment, Po fought the fox, which was tricky because it was very agile. Eventually, Po managed to win, but the fox pretended to be unconscious and stole Po's spirit stick. However, Po didn't give up and fought until he caught the fox. Then, some mountain goats warned Po that Tai Lung had returned. Upon hearing that, Po didn't believe it because Tai Lung was supposed to be in the spirit world. The fox, named Zan, said sometimes big signs can be small. Hearing that confused Po. Later, Po went to the mine where Tai Lung first appeared. He found strange tracks. First, they looked like a tiger's paw, then they turned into a small paw. Suddenly, Po remembered what Zhan had said. Afterwards, Po went to talk to Zhan in prison and asked how Tai Lung could come back when he should be in the spirit world, especially since only Po could open the door there. Zhan explained that it wasn't Tai Lung's doing, but an evil witch named Chameleon. Chameleon can change shape by touching something. Then, Po asked how to find Chameleon. Zhan said only she knew where she was. Hearing that, Po was skeptical but eventually agreed to let Zhan help. However, Master Sifu didn't like this idea, but they decided to go together. Soon after, the news about Chameleon spread, worrying the residents and Po's father. But at that time, they trusted Po to handle it. Meanwhile, the masters discussed how to deal with Chameleon. The bear master wanted to attack her, but the crocodile master warned against it because Chameleon could easily figure out their plan. Because Chameleon can turn into anyone, she can even become all of them. The shocking thing was when they discovered that the crocodile master was actually Chameleon in disguise. The other masters were stunned. Soon after, Chameleon revealed that she wanted to take over the city and needed the Red Moon for a ritual to open the spirit gate. But all these rituals cost money, so she demanded more tribute. When the bear master refused, Chameleon threatened to turn into the elephant master. Meanwhile, Mr. Ping and Po's father were worried about Po losing to Chameleon. They decided to go look for him. The next day, Po and Jan arrived at the other side of the city where Chameleon was. They needed a boat to cross, so Po found a shop called Happy Bunny, run by rabid criminals. He paid the captain there to take them across. Meanwhile, Jan was winning money by cheating at Ma Chong with the shop owner. But Po's mistake caused chaos, revealing Zhan's cheating. Eventually, they left on the boat with the captain. During the journey, Jan shared how she became a thief since she was little, but she's actually an orphan. That night, Po had a nightmare about Chameleon setting traps for the previous masters and wanting to control all areas. When they woke up, they found themselves in a city in space. Po was really surprised because this city was very busy, unlike the one he was used to. As they walked around, they saw guards taking things from people. This had been happening since Chameleon became the leader. The next day, while Po and Zan were walking, they saw a poster with Zan's face on it. Po was shocked to see that Zan was wanted in the city. Soon after, the guards caught Zan and took her away. At that time, Po tried to explain that Zhan was with him and that he was a dragon warrior, but the guards didn't understand what that meant. Unfortunately, they also detained Po. 
Luckily, Jan managed to escape by unlocking the restraints. Then they ended up being chased by the guards. Finally, they reached a place where criminals lived together. There, they met a pangolin who was Zhan's mentor. But they got into trouble because they thought Zhan was causing problems for them in the city since Chameleon took over. There, Zhan tried to explain that things would get better because she brought a dragon warrior. But no one knew what a dragon warrior was. At that moment, Zhan pleaded with her mentor to help them defeat Chameleon. At first, the mentor refused, but after considering that it would help return things to how they were before, they agreed to think about Zhan's offer. Meanwhile, Poe's two dads arrived at the Happy Bunny shop, unaware that their son had caused trouble there. Soon after, Mr. Ping entered first to look for Poe. The criminals there informed him about Poe's previous trouble at the shop. To find out where Poe had gone, Poe's father disguised himself as Poe. At first, the criminals were scared of him, but they realized he wasn't Poe because he couldn't perform kung fu and acted strangely. Eventually, they told him where Poe had gone. Back to Poe, who was practicing moods with Zhan. Zan noticed Poe's kindness and felt he was different from other masters. Together, they sneaked into the palace using the rob Zhan knew. When they reached the back entrance, they split up. There, Poe told Zhan that he could help him become a better person, which touched Zan, so he agreed to take Poe inside. Inside, they found many guards asleep, which surprised Poe. Soon after, they entered quietly, but Poe accidentally made a noise, waking up the guards who chased them inside. They encountered traps at the door, but managed to bypass them. Unfortunately, Poe got caught in a cage trap. They tried to break it, but failed. Zan decided to search for something to destroy the cage. So, Poe handed over his spirit stick to break the cage. But to his surprise, Jan turned out to be Chameleon's right-hand person. Chameleon had used Jean as part of a plan to get Poe's spirit stick. Because Chameleon knew Poe was too kind-hearted, Chameleon then explained how Jan became her right-hand person. Zan was once an orphan who was caught stealing from Chameleon's carriage after Chameleon took power in the city. Despite Jean not being afraid of her, Chameleon raised Zan as her right-hand person. Then, Chameleon also shared why she turned evil. In the past, she was underestimated because she couldn't master Kung Fu due to being weak and small. However, she didn't give up on her dream and studied magic instead, allowing her to steal Kung Fu power from others. Po realized that Chameleon had stolen Kung Fu skills from previous masters, including Tai Lung's immense power. Unable to break the strong cage, Po decided to smash the floor to escape. Outside, someone who appeared to be Jan approached Po with a spirit stick. But it wasn't Zahn. Turns out, it was a trick by Chameleon. Chameleon wanted to touch Poe to turn into a copy of him. Zan was disappointed with Chameleon because she thought Poe had died. However, Poe survived by hanging onto a tree branch. Suddenly, the guards attacked him, but Poe's father arrived and saved him. At that moment, Poe regretted not listening to Master Sifu's advice against facing Chameleon alone. Despite this, his fathers encouraged him to regain his confidence and try again to defeat Chameleon. Meanwhile, Chameleon performed the Red Moon Ritual. The first master she called was Tai Lung. However, Tai Lung didn't want to be there and tried to return to the Spirit Gate. But Chameleon stopped him and challenged him to a duel. Eventually, Chameleon forcefully took Tai Lung's power, mastering all his Kung Fu skills. Shortly after, Jan left the palace feeling disappointed with Chameleon. Along the way, she ran into Po and was surprised and happy to see he was alive. Po however, was upset with Jean and wanted to leave. Despite this, Jean kept apologizing and tried to stop Po from fighting Chameleon to protect him. However, Po didn't listen and ended up fighting Zahn. Eventually, Po walked away, but Jean hugged him to encourage him to keep going. Po still had to face Chameleon. Meanwhile, Po witnessed Chameleon stealing Kung Fu powers from masters Po had defeated before. The masters blamed Po for not protecting the spirit stick stolen by Chameleon. But there, Poe promised to defeat Chameleon and return their kung fu to normal. However, the masters doubted his ability to defeat Chameleon since she had all their powers. On the other side of things, Poe's dad disguised himself as Poe once again to distract the guards. Unfortunately, it, it didn't scare them, and they chased him. But it was all part of a plan where the underground criminals helped Poe, thanks to Zan's request. Eventually, Poe confronted Chameleon to get his spirit stick back. Soon after, Chameleon returned it casually, feeling confident in her own kung fu skills. Po, feeling cornered, received encouragement from Master Sifu's voice in his mind, giving him the courage to fight. When Po was cornered by a fake Tai Lung, 
Jen arrived with a death cage. Then, Chameleon combined all the powers of previous masters into one monstrous form. As Chameleon grabbed Zahn, Poe tried to rescue her. But when Jan approached him, it turned out to be a fake Poe. And so the battle between Poe and the imposter began. Soon after, the fight ended with Poe being locked back in a cage. So he handed everything over to Zahn and trusted her with the spirit stick. Sadly, Jan couldn't defeat Chameleon and got trapped herself. But unexpectedly, Jan used Poe's signature moves, Scablum, in her own style and managed to defeat Chameleon. However, Chameleon wasn't completely beaten yet. But then Poe realized something and attacked with one powerful strike, which finally defeated Chameleon for good. Poe's final word was Skadoosh. With Chameleon defeated, the Kung Fu masters regained their powers, and they all recognized Poe as the strongest warrior, showing him respect. Afterward, Po used the spirit stick to reopen the spirit gate, while Tai Lung took Chameleon to the spirit world. Long story short, John returned with Po to Po's home and was chosen to replace Po as the dragon warrior. But when they reached the palace, Master Sifu was surprised by Po's decision to pick a former criminal. Zan felt hurt by Master Sifu's words, but Po reassured him, saying it was similar to how Po himself was chosen by Ogwe. Master Sifu didn't accept it right away. At the end of the film, we see the long-awaited appearance of the five dragon knights. At that time, Po asked them to train John, just like they trained him before. The animation ends. The moral lesson from this animation is even if you're a clumsy panda, you can still save the day with a little help from your criminal friend and some epic kung fu moves. Remember, it's not the size of the warrior, but the size of their scablum that counts.